Hello there, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am hopping along with Trinity Stamps and the design team for a fun hop, bringing you amazing ideas with this brand new release, the Greatest Friends on Earth release. And I get to play with and share with you the Greatest Friends on Earth stamp set and coordinating die set. Now you wanna make sure and hop along with us today because there is a chance to win a $25 shopping spree to the Trinity Stamps shop. So here are all the images from that set, stamped and ready to color. I'm gonna color these out with my Copic markers. I started with N8, N6, and N4 for his hat. I really wanted that center highlight so his hat looked very new and shiny. And then I'm gonna give this guy some red hair. <laughs> I just felt like he needed red hair today, but isn't it fun that you could color him to look like anybody? Any colors that you wanted, and I'm going with traditional colors for his clothing today, but you really could have a lot of fun with this. I think it would look really cool in rainbow. You know, when in doubt, rainbow it. That's what I say. So here he is getting his traditional circus colors red for the brim of his hat. And then I will use the same red markers for his coat. So I'm starting with R17. This is kind of my go-to red color combination. R59 for the shadows and then R27 to blend those out. And I'll just go back and blend out that again with my R17. Next, I'm gonna give him some white pants. So just a little shadowing with my N0 also for his gloves. And then his vest is gonna be blue and I'm using my B24 marker for that. And then I'm gonna color his boots the exact way I colored his hat for kind of a patent leather look. And that will finish him up. Now on to the lion, I'm using Y19 for my first color. And then I'm kind of glazing over the top of that with my E13. It just creates this really amazing golden color and I love it. So I'm gonna go back and forth between those two markers and also bring in my Y38 for some darker shadow in there. And then um, once I start coloring out his body, I do bring in even a darker brown for a little bit more shadow. So onto his body, I am using E13 and E11. But when I colored this, it was just a little bit too pale. I needed a richer color. So that's when I brought in my E15 marker to really add some more shadows. And I threw a little bit onto his mane too for more shadowing and to kind of tie the two together. And then I'll just color over his body one more time. I usually do two layers when I color, especially when I'm trying to perfect the blend. For his nose and his tongue, I used E04. And there you can see all the markers I used for today's Copic coloring. Now, when you die cut these out, the word dies fit very snugly around the sentiments. So sometimes you have to flip that die around to make sure you've got it in place just right. And you can see how cool those look all die cut out. So now we're ready to start creating the card. This is the Build a Big Top die set. I'm gonna cut this largest piece on this folded in half piece of red cardstock so that I have a big top that opens and closes, creating an interactive element for my card. So you can see there, it opens and closes. And this big top will fit really good on a slimline card as well. So now I'm going to die cut some other pieces from this 15 piece die set to create my big top. Now these dies right here have rounded ends and that's so they can line up with that striped piece for the top. I didn't quite figure that out when I made this, I don't know why. Um, I die cut three and I thought I would cut one in half and it would work because I'm gonna have a door, but my door is actually gonna open and close and so I went ahead and die cut out two more pieces so I had solid stripes there. And you'll see why that's important here in a little bit. So I'll glue down my stripes, um, including the one for the top. I liked to have them different colors than each other, but again, the possibilities are endless with this circus tent. You will really have lots of fun with it, and there's lots of amazing examples from the design team uh, with this, and some like pinks and purples, so yeah, have fun with that. Okay, so now I cut out the curtain portion or door portion in blue, white, and black. So the white piece is this piece that kind of looks like a crown. That's the piece that I die cut from white that I'm saving, and I'm coloring these dots on it to look like a crowd. So it looks like there's a bunch of people sitting inside the big top, and I'm just using gray markers for that. 
So this is the actual curtain piece right here, and the white piece will snuggle up inside there. But before I glue that down, I need to add this hinge piece. So this hinge piece is two inches by two inches, scored at one inch. So I'm gonna glue that down to this blue scrap of cardstock. Now, why do I have this blue scrap? It's because you're gonna be able to see the front and the back of this door. Did you just see me drop that? Do you guys ever do that? Oh my gosh. So I Copic colored behind this and I have a hinge. So that scrap of blue paper is gonna hide all of that for me. But you see how those pieces just nestle into each other. And then there's a separate die that can cut another piece of this curtain. I'm gonna layer that on top for just a more dimensional look. And I, I did use a little bit darker cardstock for that. So now it's time to trim away the excess of this blue scrap that I don't need, which is why it was okay that I dropped my die cut piece on it it's gone never to be seen again all right so now I have a door that's going to open and close and I'll attach it to the back and then it'll flip down and the big top will flip up and then I have a cool interactive element but we're gonna set that aside and work on my card background this is a five by five inch piece of cardstock and I'm using a brand new slimline stencil this is the puffy cloud stencil so it's got two sides with clouds on it that are nine inches and two sides with clouds on it that are four inches so you can really use it on any card but how exciting to have a slimline cloud die from Trinity yay I love making scenes so I'll be using this stencil a lot I'm loving it so I'm using tumbled glass distress oxide ink for my sky it's my go-to sky color I use it a lot <laughs> so I'll have a nice little uh, scenery to set my big top on. So once I have all my clouds done and a beautiful sky, I just need to add um, a spot for the big top to sit on the ground. And there is also a brand new dice or stencil set for that. This is the springtime stencil set. I'm just using one of the stencils from the set, this one with the grass, and I'm showing you all four sides because each side the grass is different. I love that. So I'm using this side right here and mowed lawn distress oxide ink to add a ground for my big top. And I thought it would be really cool to have like two layers of grass. So I'm gonna flip the stencil over and stencil again, also using mowed lawn, but coming in with a lighter hand. So it's a lighter layer and you can see those two layers of grass. Now it was just fun doing this. Most of it's gonna be covered up by my big top, but it looks really cool, and I had fun playing with that stencil for the first time on this card. So I added some double-sided adhesive to the back of the flap of my door. I'm gonna lay my door down onto my big top and then just fold that flap around both layers of my big top, because remember, the big top also opens up. So the door will open down and the big top opens up, and now we need something fun and cute on the inside. So I'm gonna have my lion's sit on top of the pedestal and then I'm going to add the little sentiment right beside him and that says you steal the show. Then my big top is getting put down. I'm also using double-sided adhesive and glue for strong adhesion because that's very important to me. Um, but then I realized I don't quite have enough room for my ringmaster so... I picked this up and scooted it over real fast. It did mess up my background a tiny bit, so I wasn't able to scoot it over as far as I really wanted to. So I'm just going to um, have a little bit of him hanging off of the card, and I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to add a touch of glue behind his hand so it's down to the base layer of the big top, and then the hand doesn't get in the way of opening and closing it. I'm adding the flag that goes with this big top now. So there's two pieces to the flag. This piece right here that's the main flag, and then there's this teeny tiny triangle piece. And this is going to create a shadow, so it really looks like that flag is folded over in the wind. And I die cut mine from some darker red cardstock, and it looks amazing with that tiny little triangle. Now I have some magnetic discs. I'm using one that has the positive symbol on it and one that has the minus symbol on it. And then I'm going to remove the adhesive backer, add one of those to the back of my door, stick them back together. And when I take the backer off, I can press that down and it touches to the big top right where I want it. I added another sentiment on the outside and the inside. So now it says you're the greatest friend on earth. No lion, you steal the show. <laughs> I love it. So now um, my 
pointed top of my tent here was getting folded over when I opened it. So I just cut it off and now I'm gluing it to the base of my card. So I still have that pointy top that connects with the flag, but it's not being folded. Next, I'm adding my card background to my card base, which measures a five and a fourth by 10 and a half. And there you can see how it opens and closes. Next, I'm bringing in another super cool die set or stamp set from this release. It is the Paper Crafting Magic set. It has every single thing you would want to stamp for an interactive card in it plus arrows and stars super cool so I stamped open and red ink and I'm putting that right above my door this is one of the dies in the coordinating die set and I die cut it from gold glitter cardstock to add some fun little embellishments in and on my big top and I'll even have one piece left over that's kind of a sparkle like if you wanted to show like a camera took a picture Look at that, I put it on the inside. So that finishes up today's card for me for today's hop. If you wanna see more of this amazing release, make sure you click the link to the next stop on this YouTube hop in my description box below. Hop along with us, leave comments for a chance to win the $25 shopping spree to the Trinity Stamp Shop. You'll have no trouble spending it with this awesome release. And I will see you all again very soon on the next video. Happy stamping. Bye.